Hey, what's going on everyone? This is John again from Volkswagen Planet. And today we are at almost 81 degrees here in Tampa, Florida. So let's get to today's update. We are working on the 1972 Super Beetle, uh, AKA the Street Beater, Project Street Beater, Beater on a Budget, you know, you get the drift. Uh, you get the idea, I'm sorry. So what we're looking at here, if you've been following the videos, is a um, window regulator and it was jamming up binding and grinding out of the door which came off of the 74 standard over there and that was the car that had the rear end clip for the trike we even have little lucy over there getting some sun but let's get back to the uh, video in hand here Okay, so what I did was I took the window regulator out of the 74 standard door and I grabbed some carb cleaner and some WD-40. Now, when I originally took this thing out, it was binding and grinding and, you know, causing up, you know, just a typical, you know, 40, 45 year worth of dirt and grime. So what I did was I cleaned it out with carb cleaner. All right, so I cleaned it out with carb cleaner. I took and sprayed the whole entire track all inside there and you should have seen the dirt and grime and gum and everything that came out of this. Uh, you can still see it's a little dirty. I'm still working on that. So um, I sprayed it once with originally PB Blaster. Then I let it sit to get, you know, maybe I didn't know that maybe something was in there or like even the um, the crank mechanism. I did spray it with PB Blaster. And uh, just to make sure that we can have a nice uh, good spot to originally start from. All right, boys and girls. So I let that sit for about 45 minutes and I came back and I um, took some WD-40 and I did the same thing sprayed it along inside the tracks again or inside this uh spring or whatever this coil and so i sprayed it really good sprayed it in, inside the uh tube here and just let it soak and started one side came all the way down and all the way out the um the other the other end so what i also did was i took the carb cleaner and i cleaned out I did I did this three times. So I sprayed carb cleaner originally, cleaned out all the way down, all the way to the end. I let it sat or sit, and then I took uh, some WD-40. And this is pretty neat. I didn't like this in the beginning, um, but this reach thing, I don't know if it's worth spending the extra money, but I, I put it inside the little track, and it just it just almost like foamed up almost, and it, it just really worked really well. So I sprayed it inside the track, let it sit for a half hour, sprayed it again, let it sit, and I did that probably two or three times, alternating in and out with the carb cleaner. So let me show you how smooth this uh, crank works now. So this is how smooth this works right now. I'm doing this one-handed, and like I said, it's just completely turning the... Uh, the mechanism 360 degrees no binding nowhere we got the uh, the regular um, I guess the uh, window I guess you, I don't know what that's called but that, that's what holds on to the window nice and smooth goes up comes back down you know like I said with really little little to no effort whatsoever so I highly recommend doing this if your car even even if you do this once every five or ten years, a little bit of brake clean, a little bit of uh, uh, WD-40, and you're good to go. This is an OEM part, so that's why I, I was trying to um, keep it all OEM as much as possible. And so all I did, guys, like I said, literally I sprayed it with brake clean. Our carb cleaner or brake clean will be fine too. Let it uh, sit for about a half hour in between uh, the do the soaking. Took some WD-40, sprayed it, and you've seen what um, has become of this. 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to let this sit for an hour or so and then try to attempt to possibly put it in the car. If not, I'm going to let it soak overnight, possibly hang it upside down or not upside down, but just hang it from like the, um, the door handle or whatever and let the uh, tracks get all nice and clean and oiled up. So I think that will probably be the end of today's video. Again, positive. Um, like I said, it's just, just been little small steps, but you know, here we've probably saved ourselves probably 50 bucks or let's say 50 bucks. And all we spent was probably something that we already had in our tool, uh, arsenal already. So again, win, win. And we've got OEM parts. No need to fight with the bullshit aftermarket. Sorry for swearing guys. You know, I don't do that, but I completely hate, um, aftermarket parts. This thing is in exceptionally good condition. It still had the foam along the um, couple parts of the, the arm there. It's gonna be a trick to put it into the 72 Super Beetle, but I don't see it being a problem. According to all the parts catalogs, it's the exact same piece. So that shouldn't be a problem. It's just mounting the hardware and um, calling it a day. So I don't think we're gonna get this actually installed today, but, um, we're in a really good position, so hopefully tomorrow we'll get this installed. Thank you guys for your support. Thank you guys for the comments. Uh, today was another really hard day. Uh, just arthritis is acting up really, really bad. I had to take almost double my pain meds. But again, reading you guys' comments keeps me going and watching your guys' videos. So if you guys do have a channel and are active making videos, comment below. So if I don't comment on your channel, I will now. Uh, watch your videos. I try to do at least three or four hours a night So uh, that's where we stand. So like comment share subscribe thumbs up thumbs down leave a comment or don't But I appreciate I personally appreciate everything. You know, I comment back on every single comment to the best of my ability I'm up to about an hour to an hour and a half returning comments, but it's not a problem. I enjoy it I appreciate you guys help when I need it and I'll help you if I know how to fix your problem also so God bless you. God bless your family. God bless our great nation, the United States of America. Stay warm, stay safe, and we'll catch you on the next video. Take care, guys, and have a good night.